Well, defying all odds to become a first generation college student, our Andrea Williams spoke with a student inspiring others and joins us with that story this afternoon. It sounds like I'm going to love this one. I think you will, Simone. <laughs> it is, of course, graduation season, and I had the pleasure of meeting a young man who not only graduated at the top of his class, but he sends a message to us all that believing and achieving are the keys to defying all odds. <laughs> Jaden Bandy is the class of 2022 valedictorian of Milwaukee Marshall High School. With his life experiences, he has a special message for his classmates. No matter the circumstances that you know you face and the challenges, because we all go through challenges, I still want people to look up and uh, see the light and see that they can chase that their dreams and desires. This first generation college student is headed to Milwaukee School of Engineering this fall on a full scholarship. As a career, I want to be a robotics engineer. I, uh, ever since I was like 12, I've always wanted to do robotics. Things aren't always so cut and dried for Jaden. You see, he didn't learn to read until he was 10 years old. Statistics show that children who aren't reading at grade level by the end of third grade are four times as likely to drop out of high school. Refusing to be a statistic, Jaden knew he wanted better for himself. I think I was like 11 when I was like, yeah, let's turn, let's turn this around and let's, let's, you know, get my life together. Everyone that offered help, um, and, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, whew. It's emotional for you yeah. because you can now look back mm -hmm. and see that whatever you put your mind to, yeah, I can do I, can I was do able it. to do it. Jane learned how to read and eventually caught up with his classmates, graduating top of his class. Everyone who offered help, um, I took it. They knew that I was a little behind and I was at a point where I didn't really have anything to lose. When you just said you were at a point at just 10 years old mm -hmm. where you felt like you didn't have anything to lose, there are a lot of young boys who look like you who feel that same way and they choose the wrong path. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? I think that they need just a little bit of guidance sometimes. And they need a little bit of help mm -hmm. to um, keep them on track. Jaden credits his teachers at Marshall, who he says were all supportive and willing to help, especially college career counselor, Paris Beckley. Having a student like Jaden here at Milwaukee Marshall was just so inspirational and amazing. Just to know Jaden is an honor and a privilege. We're looking at a picture of you in your cap and gown, mm -hmm. the valedictorian of Marshall High School, class of 2022. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for that young man right there? I would tell him to keep it going, keep a steady pace, uh, don't stress about things he can't control, <laughs> <laughs> and um, Stay dedicated. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love that. You talk about at 10 years old learning how to read, not letting your situation define you. Mm -hmm. I love it. I Absolutely. Love it. And you know what? There's something about that pomp and circumstance and then seeing the kids in their caps and gowns. Mm -hmm. I get chill bumps and I want to cry every time because I feel like I, I'm hoping that they understand at this very moment in their lives that the sky truly is the limit. So he's a great inspiration to not only those young people who are in school, but to us adults as well. Oh yeah, and shout out to him, first generation college student. I know how it feels. Shout out to Jaden. Yes. There we go. Great story, Andrea, thank, thank you. you.